Welcome to today's video. I'm going to tell you why the 35mm RF lens is the best lens ever. Okay, it's the best lens I have, but I really do believe it's the best RF lens out there. All right, let's go. You're a beautiful person and you're a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. All right, the RF lens, which I'm filming with right now, otherwise I would have it in my hands to show you um, and to use it as a visual, but I'll cut to some B-roll for that. I'm using it because it's so reliable and crisp and sharp. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. There's five reasons, at least five reasons, why this is an amazing lens. One, it's an RF lens. That being said, the distance between the lens glass and the sensor is, has been reduced by the RF design, and it's sharp. It's one of the sharpest lens I've ever used. The 50 uh, 1.2 is probably even sharper, but this one is super sharp. The RF design allows it to be sharp. Here's some samples of that. Second, it's light. In contrast to all the other RF lenses out there, this design is light. This focal length is light. And what do I mean by that? I mean, it doesn't tip forward when you put the lens on it. That's the difference. The 50, the 28 to 70, the 24 to 105, they're behemoth lenses and they weight your camera forward, uh, which is something I don't like particularly. I like the slimness, the lightness of the RF, the mirrorless camera, and I want a lens to complement that. So the 35 is light. It's a sharp lens, it's a light lens. What else is there? It's a macro lens. And so one of the benefits, I know people might say it's not a true one-to-one -one macro lens, but one of the benefits is it has a minimal focusing distance of six inches. And so when I have it on the Ronin S, for example, and I'm doing some filmmaking, I can get very close to subjects in tight spaces and get them in sharp focus and uh, get unique perspectives by getting close. Another thing I like about it is the 35 millimeter lens is the perspective of what the human eye sees, a perspective that's matched to what the viewer will relate to. You know, when you have a, a zoom lens or if you have a really wide angle lens, those things can also be off-putting to the viewer in some of their extremities or extreme uses. So this helps me think about my viewer and stay tied to what they um, will experience and how can I create an image that's motivating and and moving for them. All right, I just thought of another reason. Another reason why I like this lens. It's sharp, it's light, it's macro, it's 35. Honestly, it lets in a lot of light. At 1.8, it lets in plenty of light. I get great low light performance because of that when I'm in uh, dark situations. And so that helps me find the focus. And if I'm using a flash, it helps me trigger that flash. Although at event photography, I probably would defer to the 24 to 105 to have that wide range for all occasions because it lets in a lot of light. It, it's helpful in low light situations. Another reason I like the, the RF 35 lens is it's affordable. It's absolutely affordable at $500 compared to all the other RF lenses out there that are $1,200 or $2,000 or $3,000, this lens is a no-brainer. So it's sharp, it's light, it's macro, it's 35, gives you that human eye perspective. It's affordable. I know there's other reasons out there. Oh, it's image stabilized. Yes, it has stabilization, uh, unlike all the other um, RF lenses out there right now. So it's sharp, it's light, it's macro, it's affordable. It has that human eye perspective. It's stabilized. What other good things can I tell you about this lens? Maybe that's it right now. Anyways, I love this lens. I use it for food photography, landscape photography, for filming my vlog. I rarely have it off, maybe just to switch out for event photography. Um, even portraits, I, I love it for portraits. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy with this lens and you can't go wrong with it for the price. It's an amazing addition to your kit. So check it out. Definitely, definitely think this is the most underrated RF lens out there. Oh, 
The other thing I like about it, it's a prime lens. I like to use prime lenses. I like to move around the subject and, and use my distance and my body and my positioning to get the composition right instead of just zooming in and out and um, being more stationary. I like as a filmmaker and a photographer to be on my feet and to be moving. So I like the fact that it's a prime lens. So it's prime, it's got that human eye perspective, it's affordable, it's macro, it's light, it's sharp, it's image stabilized. It's amazing, I don't know what to say. Check it out. All right, so uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you came back, thank you so much. We're all on this learning journey. Join in and be a part of this journey. Um, thank you so much. Click the subscribe button and click that bell and be a part of this. Uh, leave a comment. I really like to learn from you and hear what you're thinking in the comments. All right. Peace.